So hello everyone, welcome to this another video of this channel. I'm Abhishek Verma and you are watching Spring Basics with Spring Boot series. In today's video, we are not going to cover anything practical or theoretical concept as such. Instead, we are going to review what we have covered so far and what the future videos are going to look like on this particular channel. Also, if you have any suggestions or any questions, you can ask me or you can tell me in the comments. So without wasting any more time, let's directly get started. So as you remember, we started this particular playlist Spring Basics with Spring Boot on 23rd of June 2024. Now on that particular day, I basically released the announcement video in which I told you what we are going to cover in this particular playlist. At that point of time, I decided that every week I will be releasing only one single video and that will be probably on Saturday. But later on, I identified that topics are not that much difficult. So it's better if we can have two videos per week. So in that way, I decided to release one video on Wednesday, another video on Saturday. And this is how so far we were keep on doing the things. And somehow on 4th of September, we completed this particular series with almost 20 plus videos because one video was the announcement. So beside that, there are 20 videos containing different concepts practically as well as theoretically. Now, some of you may feel that, okay, the time which we spent in this particular series was very long because you may say that, okay, from June to September, you were able to finish only the spring basics with the spring. Book. There was no database. There was no rest and forget about microservices and security as of now. So if we will keep learning at this pace, it may take us few more months as, as, as well as years in order to learn the complete Spring Boot. But believe me, I will be able to justify myself and then you can tell me in the comments whether my justification was right or wrong. So before I give you any other kind of justification, let's try to understand that what were the various topics which we have covered in this particular playlist. So when I made this playlist, in my mind, it was a point that if you are just having a basic knowledge of Java, where you should be knowing the collections framework, exception handling, the Lambda expression, Java it features, and a basic of Maven, then it should be easy for you to understand this video. Now, in case if you don't have, then believe me, those videos are also available on this particular channel only. You don't need to go to any other channel for that. Then, when we started this video, the very first video was not even making usage of Spring Boot or Spring. It was just a Java based video using which I tried to explain you why do we basically need Spring or Spring Boot in industry level applications. Why alone Java is not sufficient. So many a times the YouTubers try to cover this topic theoretically. But instead of it, I tried to cover the same topic practically. And then the same topic, same particular logic, same scenario we used in almost all other videos of this particular playlist also. So we started with the inversion of control. First of all, I covered it theoretically, then practically. Then we covered dependency injection, component scanning, stereotype annotations, primary and qualifier annotations. Then all these uh, topics were just covered with the help of Spring, not even Spring Boot. Okay, so that's an interesting point because Whenever someone is trying to learn about Spring Boot, they first of all get confused between Spring Boot and Spring. They feel that, okay, these are complete two different things. But with the help of this playlist, I tried to explain you that how you can start with Spring and move on towards Spring Boot easily without any difficulty. Then we understood how to create a very first Spring Boot project. What is command line runner? What is scope? What is logging? What is the way to read the properties in Spring Boot? What are the various ways of profiles? How you can do profiling? How it actually works in the industry level projects? We also learned about YAML. Okay, so there is one way which we call as properties file. Other one is YAML file. So both of them were covered here. Beside this aspect oriented programming. So I tried to cover it first of all theoretically and then practically. Then unit testing was also covered. And for this unit testing, you should be having the prerequisite of JUnit and Mockito. Because what I basically covered is that if you know that particular part, how to implement unit testing in Spring Boot. That I covered here basically. Then the dev tools was covered. And the last topic which I covered on 4th of September 2024 was the customizing the banner. 
like it's not a very big uh, topic as such which you should be knowing but it's a very simple topic of 10 minutes only and it is something like a fun activity which you can do with the help of your spring boot project now you can pause the video and then you can decide is it possible to cover so many topics in just one hour or two hours because on youtube you will surely see so many videos where they will tell you that okay you can become master in spring boot in just one hour or two hours if you feel it is possible then believe me then anything is possible like you can even learn microservices as well as security as well as rest everything in just one hour only and then there is no benefit of spending so many years in the IT industry I mean what will you do with your rest of the life if you will learn everything in just one single hour what will you do the complete year or rest of the years in your IT industry okay so believe me guys it is not possible to cover each and everything in just one hour or something many times when I am also making one minute videos there also people tell me that okay in one minute you just covered why this particular topic is required or what is this particular topic you should have also covered the code you should have also covered the real-time example you should have also covered some other example with the help of code also everything in one minute but believe me if someone is telling you that they can cover each and everything in one minute or one hour or even in two hours so either they are lying to you or they are not covering all the concepts like many a times what people do is that whenever they hear that okay they need to learn spring boot they directly jump on to spring rest application how to make web apis with the help of spring boot directly that particular point okay and that is not possible guys i mean try to understand when you were a kid and you went to the fir very first day of your school what did you learn did you learn about how to do addition multiplication subtraction or did you learn about the numbers or something like that nothing out of these what you basically learned was how to just pick the pencil that's it on the very first day you just understood how you can hold a particular pencil how to draw a line and that the thing you learned then gradually you learned that how to make some shapes out of it how to make a straight line how to make a curved line then how to write the numbers how to write alphabets and gradually you learned other things so same way when you are learning now also whether it is java whether it is any other language whether it is spring boot or any of the things you need to spend time that is the very first thing which you need to do now you see all these 20 videos are publicly available so now if you say that okay i can learn everything in just one single day then it is your choice believe me it will total count you something like 10 hours or something so in 10 hours if you wish you can learn everything in one go but at the same moment people say that okay sometimes your videos are very long they are like 40 minutes or 50 minutes and so on so how we can set so much amount of time so now you try to understand on one side people say that okay your videos are long enough 40 minutes or 50 minutes on other side they say that okay we want to learn everything quickly also so how to cover all these two things in the same time that is not practically possible so if someone says that okay it is possible believe me they are just fooling out of you okay so if you want to learn more things you obviously need to spend the time here yeah why some of my videos are like 40 minutes and so long because if you see out of these many videos which we created here the logging video was the maximum length it was of 50 minutes okay the reason why it was of 50 minutes is because for me it could have been possible that I should have divided it in two parts or let's say three parts of something like 20 minutes 30 minutes or 10 minutes or something like this okay but believe me in that particular point what happens is the flow breaks for me also when I'm explaining you the thing the flow breaks for you also when you are learning something the flow breaks on the other hand when I just make a video of 50 minutes then as a viewer it is your choice if you say you have time you can watch the complete 50 minutes if you say you don't have time you just watch 10 minutes pause the video simple i mean on youtube it is that easy we can just pause it and later on whenever we have time we can watch it even when i want to learn any of the topic which is not available on my channel i let's say i need to watch some other channel 
So what I basically do is the same thing. If there is a very big video, either I pause it in between or I watch it as per my requirement. Sometimes I feel that, okay, I just need to refresh the topic. I even watch it at 1.5x or 2x. And believe me, my videos you can always watch at 1.5x or 2x if you know the concept very well. Another point which people say is that in most of your videos, you keep on reusing the concept. Okay, but believe me, that's basically a kind of an advantage also to you. Because let's say on thumbnail, I told you that, okay, today in this video, we are going to cover about logging. So what do you expect me to cover in that particular video? You want me to tell you that, okay, how to write the very basic at the rate Spring Boot application annotation, how to create a main method, how to start with the main method, or you want me that, okay, some of the things are already covered and then we are looking into it that how to implement logging in the same application. Okay. So what I basically believe is that you want logging only in that particular video. So that's the point. If you will watch the complete playlist. So this logging video, I guess was 16th or 17th video. So if you will watch the complete playlist, you will obviously having an idea what we have done in the previous videos. And in that case, when you are directly watching the logging video, for you, it will be easier to understand how to implement logging. Otherwise, in case, let's say you have just randomly came to this uh, particular video or randomly came to this particular channel, you see there is YAML. So for this, one option is that you should be having a very basic idea of Spring Boot so far, so that you can just understand the YAML part. Otherwise, the other option is that you can watch the previous video then that also is going to be easier for you. So this is how we need to learn any new concept. Okay. So believe me again and again, I'm repeating, it is not possible to cover each and everything in one single video, whether it is of one hour or two hour, it is not possible. Okay. Like one thing which is possible is, and we will be talking about at end also. Yeah. So that is that we can have a live session. Now in that live session, what I am planning is that what all concepts we have covered so far, I will be implementing them in one single video. And that video is going to be something I can probably say one hour or two hours or something. Okay, because it is going to be live. So during the live session, we may face some of the difficulties also. In between, you may try to ask me some queries also. So it will probably take one to two hours. And there also, it is without any database, without any web application. So first of all, it is going to be a very big Java based application, which we will try to convert to a Spring Boot application. This is something which we can do. In that way, we can cover it in two hours. But there, I won't be telling you what is AOP, or I won't be telling you how to write AOP from scratch, or how the Spring Boot is going to work. There, it is not possible to explain each and everything. Because there, I will be assuming that you know everything, and now the only thing is you want to apply it quickly. So then it is easier for you to understand here. Yeah. So that we will do a live session. So if you wish to have a live session, then you can tell me in the comments. Currently, I'm hoping that on 21st of September, we can have a live session. 21st of September, I guess will be Saturday or Sunday probably. So on that day, we can have a live session. We can have it around maybe 2 p.m. or if you wish, we can have it around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m so on we can start so obviously it will take us around one and a half to two hours okay so that is about the live session now besides this now the point that when our basic series is completed so what's next what you can see more on this particular channel so the next part which i'm thinking is that we can start with the spring data jpa series so currently if you see now we are clear how to make this service layer or the business layer with the help of spring boot we are clear about the basic concepts of Spring Boot. Now the next part we can learn is how to interact with the database. And whenever we want to interact with the database, basically with the help of Spring Boot, the most popular part is the Spring Data JP. But for this also guys, it is never possible that you can directly start with the Spring Data JP. You need to have a basic knowledge of SQL. You need to have a basic knowledge of JDBC. You need to have a basic knowledge of Hibernate. If you will randomly say that, okay, today I wish to learn Spring Data JPA, I don't know anything of the basics that is not at all possible. 
okay so again if someone says that he or she will explain you spring data jpa directly without basics they are just fooling you or it may happen that while you are learning or you are watching that particular video at that point of time you see that okay everything is very clear but the moment you will go and try to implement the same thing on your own you won't be able to implement okay because that is not possible guys yeah it is like covering a 10 kilometer journey journey in just one second that is not possible if there is a journey of 10 kilometer you need to spend that much amount of time if there is a journey of 100 kilometers you need to spend that much amount of time actually so first of all after this we will be covering spring data jp series that will be probably of 11 to 12 videos at end of that particular series also we can again have a live session where we will implement all those things but in order to be prepared for that series you need to watch other videos of my channel basically jdbc and hibernate and obviously this spring basics with spring boot okay because you should be aware about the basic annotations post that we will be starting with the spring rest where we will see how to interact with the web application how to make web apis and everything if possible i will be making a spring mvc also also if you remember on this independence day i made one more extra video where i made it with the help of spring mvc and deployed it on render cloud so that was just of 26 minutes but there i didn't cover so many things from scratch because there my goal was just to show you how to do this quickly so one option is that i can just show you how to do this quickly another option is i can explain you in detail then once spring rest is completed then we will start with the spring microservices again spring microservices is a very big concept then we will try to understand about spring security then we will go and try to deploy the same application on cloud so things will take time in case you say that okay no you want the things quickly then other option is that in between you can watch from other channels also so i don't say that you just need to watch the videos on my channel only that is not possible okay i can't make all the videos too quickly because believe me first of all the very basic thing is you people are not going to watch those videos okay like hardly this last video which i made customizing the banner in spring boot it is of 10 minutes okay like many people say that your videos are very long that's why people are not watching that video is of 10 minutes only it's an interesting feature also the number of views after three days 90 that's it so only 90 videos uh, 90 views no comments and hardly i guess five likes that's it simple okay so that is the amount of response which i'm getting and even then i'm trying to help you out of free okay from the channel i'm not earning anything okay whatever i'm earning is from my full-time job which i do for a particular company so i need to take care of that particular part also and beside that i can create videos for you guys so now if you feel that things are fine then you can tell me in the comments you can like the video you can share it with your friends then you can watch the videos of spring basics with spring boot series try to complete it before 21st of september try to watch the videos of hibernate and jdbc also before we start with the next series and also you need to tell me in the comments should we start with the next series or not okay so i hope you will be telling me you will be supporting me thanks everyone see you in the next video bye, -bye.